Hi little treasures! Thank you for watching with us again today. I hope you're having a really good day. We are going to learn more about the nature of God. We're looking at who God is and what God is. Just some of the things of what makes God, God. Before we do that, we are going to think about the great big God that he is and how much he loves you and me. And we are going to sing to him. We are going to worship God for the awesome God that he is. Will you sing and worship God with me? Brilliant, let's go. Mountains and the sea, my river runs with love for me, and I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands, for I will always sing of when your love came on. I could sing of your love forever. Sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. Let's go back to the start. Let's sing over the mountains and the sea. Here we go. Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands. For I will always sing of when your love came on. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. Sing of your love forever. I could 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 sing. Of your love forever. Let's sing. I could. I will sing of your love forever. And I will sing of your love forever. I will sing of your love forever. I will sing of your love forever. Of your love forever. Let's close our eyes. Let's talk to God. Father, thank you for your amazing love for us. Thank you that no matter what we've done, you love us all the same. No matter what we will do, you still love us. That your love is unending. And God, we could sing an unending song about how amazing your love is. Father, thank you that there's no one like you. Nothing is better than you. Nothing's better than your love. Let's sing that together. There's nothing better than you. There's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing Nothing is better than you. Sing with me. There's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing. Nothing is better than you. Lift it up. Oh, there's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing better than you oh there's nothing 
nothing Nothing is better than you God said I There's nothing Better than you Oh, there's nothing Better than you Oh, there's nothing Nothing is better than you Praise you, Lord Now is the part where we are learning our Bible truth. We learn one Bible truth each week. And this time we've got some very special friends teaching us the Bible truth. Are you ready to see what friends are teaching us the Bible truth this week? I am. Let's watch now. God is peace. 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 Hey little treasures, what a great day. We oh, have learned so much about how God is peace. Can you say that after me? After three, three, two, one. God is peace. We're having so much fun and we've got a story out of the Bible to help you guys understand how God is in control, how God is good and how he loves you and how he can give us peace. Now, I've got a question for you. Who has ever been on a really big boat? Yeah, we used to go on a big boat all the time every year to Scotland for our holidays and it was a really big boat. But who has ever been on a boat? when it's been really stormy, like I mean really stormy, and you've been a little bit scared. Yeah, me, I've been on a massive boat when it's been scared. But you know what, today's story is actually about how when Jesus and his disciples won a little boat, and how when it was stormy, what happened to them guys? So let's dig into today's story. Now it's found in the book of Luke, chapter four, uh, verse 35. Should read more about it with your parents later, you can. But today's story, it says, Jesus told his disciples, it was evening, let's go to the other side of the lake. So the disciples got on the boat, and because it was night time, Jesus put his head on a cushion and had a sleep. Imagine just falling asleep in a boat. Who's ever done that before, I wonder? But you know what? The Bible says that a storm arose, and the, the wind and the waves and everything was flying about, and the boat was getting very rocky, and it says the water was coming onto the boat. Now what was Jesus doing? He was still asleep. He was completely at peace and completely relaxed. But the disciples on our hand, it says, woke him and said, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? Do you think the disciples had peace then? No, they were definitely scared. They had forgotten that God is peace. And they had forgotten that God is in control. Because we learned a couple of weeks ago how God made the earth, the sky, the stars, the moon. God made everything. And if he made everything, he can control because he is a wonderful God. So Jesus is sleeping. The disciples wake him. They're scared and they're worried. But what did Jesus say to him? Do you think he said, oh, we're going to drown? Oh, no, no. Jesus said, be quiet, be still, and the waves die down. Imagine being completely stormy to being completely calm. And he told them that the wind and the waves obey me. And isn't that an amazing story, kids? And you know what? We're probably not going to find ourselves on a little boat in a storm, worried about if we're going to drown. But we all go through different things in life. Sometimes we get scared. Sometimes we get lonely, sometimes we're worried about something, sometimes we just get so upset that we don't know what to do. But you know what kids, unlike the disciples, we can trust God. We can trust God that he is in control, that he gives us peace. God is peace. And I want you guys to remember that, that no matter where you find yourselves, God is looking out for you, he's protecting you, and he is there to be right beside you. So no matter what you're going for, you and your parents can pray and ask him to give you peace guys. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. I hope you have really enjoyed learning that God is peace today. I hope you remember some of that story and know that no matter what is going on in your life, God is there. God is with you and God loves you. I hope you have a brilliant week, little treasures, whatever you're getting up to. And we will see you back here next week. Bye.